they can't. Ain't no way they are. I grew up like Christian, so well, my mom was the main one that was like, make sure you wait, make sure you wait, and so. I don't know, it kind of stuck with me. Uh, for me, I grew up religious like you, but I'm 20 now, so even for the past three years, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the religious aspect anymore, I'm just bad with women. Keep it real, I'm Muslim. For me, it's like, why not just wait and do it through the Sharia, do it through the Dean, because you know, it's not worth going to hellfire for me. So for me, it's kind of a lot of reasons. One, I was a super late bloomer. I only felt sexual attraction for the first time like four years ago. Looking like I do, women usually aren't like bursting to get down on this. So I haven't had anything sort of yeah, just like fall sure. into my lap. He's for yeah, sure it's, it's not a priority right now. Does, it, does anyone know about be. sexual transmutation? No. Essentially, the desire you have to have sex is a very strong desire. Especially if you're a man, put it into the work. Put it into the gym. Watch what will happen. You will hit every goal. So that's kind of my reason. Yeah. <sighs> I, wanted I hate people like that, bro. Like, he watched too much Red Pill podcast, bro. I know he watches Red Pill podcast. Pressing bits. Because I that's didn't really cool. want all them. from you and with you, not for just Put it in the gym. Put it in the work. So I'm watching all Christianity as well. Such old bitch. Oh! To offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, which is a good and reasonable, reasonable, I'm underlining, reasonable service. It's a gift that I want to give to my future wife. How old is everyone here, by the way? 22. 20. 22. 23. I'm 32. 32. Dude, respect to you, man, for waiting. Th three, two, and you ain't never... Wait, let's talk about that, though. Because if you are not married... Can't Muslims not have face, like, tattoos? Because this nigga's talking about he wouldn't do it the right way. He got like tattoos 32, on his face. You will still be a virgin, correct? Above his eyebrow. Yeah, but my God, and he ain't finna do me like that. My God loves me. It ain't no way you 32 and a virgin. I'm, <laughs> I'm 32 <laughs> ain't no and a virgin. virgin. I'm just yeah. gonna keep it. <laughs> It seemed like he wanted to present the extreme of his religion. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> Tell us how you felt. Oh, it was black. Black. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm gonna ask you. Like, you're yeah. 32. How does, Child, it, go? How does it go? It goes, it goes rough. I mean, my body is ready. I want that. I want to be married. But I put more value on my walk with the Lord and my future wife. Have you been in those opportunities where it's like? Maybe. I could have had many opportunities, but I keep myself away from those types of things. Has everybody dated before, or have you guys had significant others? Or I, I've only had one girlfriend, so. Yeah, me too. I've only had one reason, girlfriend. Bro. I've had two. Uh, I've had a handful. <laughs> I never handful? really had an official boyfriend, oh. but like boyfriend. I had seen like two people, yeah. So I'll go out like on dates and whatnot, but nothing really official. And have you guys kissed or? Kissed, yeah. 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 Nothing beyond the... Uh, gotcha, you, gotcha, you, gotcha. You. One of my long, uh, relationships was entirely long distance. She was in Portugal the whole time. Oh, wow. So, like, my lips don't really stretch across the ocean very well. <laughs> yeah, he's for sure with me. in love before? For sure. Okay. Really? Even though you never dated anybody? Yeah, for sure. Or... I'm, I'm a very passionate person. When I was younger, um, obviously you have, like, those high school crushes and whatnot. I don't want to flex or anything, but my car outside, I bought it by myself. It's, like, 120K. <laughs> I opened my own company and that's all because I've stayed focused and not let myself become a part of, you know, like what's what going on. What the cringe, bro? He's cringe. For you in the last five seconds. I, I feel like a lot of people accomplish a lot of things while still having sex and you just make time for it. Or you can just like fap and forget about it. Like Yeah. But when they when they do engage in that type of stuff, they go through a heartbreak. They could be successful, but they have to have like this battle before all that happened. He kept talking about like his mindset and grind set and it reminded me of like American Psycho and that guy He for sure got his heart broken and now he acts this way. Yeah, get him get him up out of here, bro. Dang that crazy. nigga's a fucking I, I loser. thought I'd be eliminated uh, right away, but I've had naked women climb on top of me and I, I still say no. And then the next day I go submit three loans and make like ten thousand dollars. Interesting. Cool. Um, do you think the mole that is nigga is weird as fuck. Something's wrong with him. Please raise your hand. Nigga's just flat. Bro, he needs to be helped. Wow. Oh, interesting. I didn't think y'all were gonna raise your hands. I have a bit of a accusation, and so Alex, I think I that you that made a mistake, and you're here rather to promote that virginity till marriage would have been the better option. Yeah. I've definitely been in the situations where uh, me and my girlfriend were making out, and, and there are definitely worse scenarios that we could have. Uh, gone farther than that. This is gonna sound bad, but I'm just too scared of my mom to be like, hey, I had sex. <laughs> but you only didn't have sex because of your mom. When I turned 16, 17, that was when um, I really started 
uh, diving into the Bible and, and reading more into it and, and kind of creating it for my own. And so what uh, denomination is your church? I'll be honest with you. I don't know which denomination it is, but um, okay. we're Christian. Okay. So I'll say okay. That. okay. But <laughs> he didn't know what his denomination was. Like, I feel like every religious person knows what their denomination is. He definitely cares about his religion way more than I do. And I know that my denomination, like the back of my hand, I don't tell anyone that I'm a virgin. It's definitely something I really keep under wraps because I feel very like embarrassed and ashamed of it. Like I've failed somehow. Yeah, That's when I was in college. How crazy would it be if he's class, not and the to teacher be, like, he's the Your next assignment is to tell the ooh, true ooh, story ooh, of your ooh, first kiss and I was like oh god and then she followed with I know you've all had it and it was like oh double god <laughs> I do yes admit that I feel pressured to have sex because everyone else is talking about the guy the girl and I'm like okay I'm just like what the f you know like <laughs> I've been in band my whole life starting in middle school and I'm still in my college marching band it's actually kind of uncommon when you say oh yeah I'm not a virgin they'll be like I was kind of looking at you like, you play clarinet and you've had sex? <laughs> uh, Growing up, I played football my whole life, and so that was a very big deal, especially at the high school I went to. I would say definitely at that time, I felt the pressure of just society saying like, dude, you haven't had sex, just go for it, it's easy. I would rather wait, I'd rather wait. That's me. So. What are you doing today to change your mood? Me, 30 minutes ago, I've taken this. Oh. I need YouTube premium again, I just chat. Like what Aaron said was really smart, and it felt like a big CSI moment, so I was like, oh, he definitely got him. That's it. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. I wish I had, like, a virgin card I could show you guys or something. <laughs> if you think the mole is still in the box and you wish to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. I'm just super curious why you two, I guess, didn't want to continue. Because I think it was Alex. Yeah. I think we are virgins. Yeah, I thought that what you said during the last round was super smart. It felt like a big CSI moment. It's just like, oh, if you're wrong, then like, I don't trust anything anymore. I think you definitely have the vibe of like a band kid who hasn't done it yet, which I can say because I used to be a band kid. Oh. What'd you who, play? I played trombone. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, but so you guys oh, yeah. think so, there's yeah. still a... Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. here's the thing. Aaron, I think it's you. And Andrew, respectfully, like, respectfully. Sure. I think it's because you're imposing what you are on, onto what Alex was. And that's maybe what you did, and I'm thinking that you're, mm. what's it it's called? It's not. One more thing is just that because of, you know, your age and everything, and I don't yes. think age is, that's it okay. should matter. That's okay. Like, it's hard to believe, um, yes. Do you, I guess, like, what was your longest relationship? About a year, a little yeah. over a year. And then was there times where she wanted to, like, escalate it? Because I know you're, you know. I've only dated Christian right. women. Right. And so they've also wanted to maintain a oh. certain level of purity. Okay, I see. Cool, ominous. It just seemed like he wasn't as confident as he was in the previous round, so I was like, okay, he got a go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. If you think the mole's still in the box and you wish to continue playing, please raise your hand. The mole is definitely not in the box, bro. Green, Niggas are losers. That means you have voted the mole out and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. Three, two, one. What? It's you, huh? No. It's you. You, you weren't no, surprised. You no, weren't surprised. You. you weren't surprised. No. You looked right at us. No. You weren't surprised. On the count of three, can the mole please step out? One, two, three. What up, y'all? Yes. What the <laughs> fuck? He good. He good. Like, oh, I wanted to see him, but then the way he was talking, I'm like, nah. But turns out he get hella meow meow. Well played. What the that shit? Was well played. I believed everything <laughs> that you said. I mean, most of what I said was true. Those those personal stories, they were from before I, you know, did the honky donk. I see. I see. I see. The honky donk. I was like, oh, he plays trombone. I play clarinet. We're good. Wait, so when did you have sex then? Um, like eight times with, or not eight times, with eight different people. <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow. He get meow, meow. The big thing, the most important thing that I will probably say today, and that's to all of the young men out there who don't look conventionally attractive and feel like they will never find love or sex because of it. No matter what you look like, Chad, what kind of bitch you there think are you get? plenty of people who are into that. It's just up to you. Chad, what kind of bitch do you think you get? He like a fat like a woman type. Them. Treat them with respect, have good hygiene, you'll be just fine. Oh my god. Celebrate with your cash winning. <laughs> There's no way, bro. What the fuck? He's the V? Or he wasn't the V? Out of everybody? That's crazy. All right.